go to getting started. This is all the instructions on everything to get set up. So come in here, Minecraft education setup. Now, what, the, and these are the instructions. This app is what it looks like. A regular Minecraft is green and it has a different look. This is Minecraft education. Okay, so it's on the computer. So then I will tell you right now, getting that part set up is a real pain in the butt. <laughs> That's Minecraft education's doing. There's nothing we can do about it. It takes you a little bit of work to get it all in. You should have a login. So you, what you do is you go in. Once it's all downloaded, follow the instructions. They like ask you to take your phone and take a picture and get the QR code to verify. There's a lot of little check boxes you have to do, and it's really to keep your children safe. I wish there was something we could do, but we can't. But what it really does is it really is protecting our kids. So I can't get too whiny about it. It does protect our kids. Once you have it downloaded on, on your computer, you'll probably have a little icon somewhere on your screen. You just click it, you log in. Eventually it should save it if you keep it on the same computer. When you go in, then you come here, it gives you all the instructions. It's a little long, yes, but it will give you all the instructions. You come in here, your child, click on the co-op classes for K through six if they're under sixth grade. You're gonna click this and then inside here is a Zoom link and you have to go to the Zoom link first. Some children's computers don't run Zoom and Minecraft education well together. So I have my son do Zoom on either my phone or on an iPad or something, or even a, a, like a Chromebook. Once you're in the Zoom link, every day they're in a world. They get a new code every day to be led into the world. This also protects our children. So you have to get that code off Zoom. So you go into Zoom, you show the computer, the kids say, hi, Miss Ann, can I have the code, please? They go to chat, they pull out the code, they put it into their Minecraft education, they can play. It's a little confusing. Your children are actually much better at it than we are. I struggled with it myself, even when I was hosting it, and my son would be like, mom, just let me do it. <laughs> he handled it for me. In the meantime, if you're stuck, you can always just get to the Zoom link and Anne will walk you through while you're there. Sometimes it takes a minute because we might have more than one mom who needs some help. But if you go in here and just go to the co-op classes, Minecraft, and the Zoom link, it should let you right on in. It's not going to have launch meeting and can walk you all the way through to make sure your kids can get in. Okay, you gotta get them in here, you guys. They're having so much fun together. This is where our kids are like really, really bonding. And what's so cute is that there are all kinds of personalities getting along. Kids that maybe on the playground may not be doing so well together in here are getting along so cute. They're really bonding over Minecraft education. And sometimes there's a problem. If your computer's not got the latest update and Minecraft education just didn't update, Sometimes you have to update your computer so the Minecraft education will work. So make sure you get on the Zoom and right before, or five minutes before it starts and can help walk you through. This is Minecraft education. So it's not the same as Minecraft. It's Minecraft education where they're able to do like lessons and stuff together. So you actually do have to get the Minecraft education, download that, and you do need to have a Zoom account free. You don't have to pay for it. They can use one computer or one something for Zoom and they can both be on the same Zoom link and then play on separate computers. And you can do it on the iPad. Minecraft education works for just about everything, I believe. I don't know about the phone. We have a lot of kids on their iPads, Chromebooks, PCs, Macs, whatever. And since we talk about Minecraft in our day, all kinds of things. I love getting to know the kids. Yeah, the kids are so fun. <laughs> I have my son put on headphones because it gets really loud. Those kids, the way they love to talk to each other, like my older children love listening to my son playing Minecraft with the group. They're like, Colleen's having fun. You guys are too old, go away. <laughs> <laughs> the Washington DC Minecraft world portrays the most important landmarks of the capital of the United States. The buildings are all faithful. Oh, okay. A DC lesson on DC in Minecraft. All right, so if you click on the link Anne just gave you, Here's our Minecraft Washington DC lesson. So the learning objectives, teacher prep and notes, guiding ideas, student activities, performance expectations. Ooh, a 45 minute thing. Okay, you guys are seeing this? So the student activity, have students choose free play, have them choose creative mode, because here's the Vietnam Memorial, National Gallery of Art. Oh, this is cool. Build a rose garden at the White House. 
search for your favorite quote by Martin Luther King, write your own book, place in the Library of Congress, find the Smithsonian National Air Space Museum, use a book, book and quilt to write a bill about your favorite bubblegum flavor, don't sign it yet, take it into the Capitol and try to make it into a law. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Performance expectations, students will learn 17 facts about the United States Capitol. And this is what Minecraft education is for. I love this. Anne is gonna start using up our Minecraft education. So far, we've just been letting our kids play and really letting them understand how to use my homeschool village and play together. And now that they've got the hang of this, Anne's getting into these Washington DC's lessons, right? This is the beauty of Minecraft education. Love it, Anne, you're awesome. All right, have a good one. Thanks guys.